Hi, I'm Munish Johar and you're watching me on Rolling Frames Entertainment. So I've been angel investing for over uh, six years now. I've invested in over 35 startups. So I know a little bit about angel investing over the years. I've learned a little bit and I have met my fair share of entrepreneurs, startup founders. And I have, uh, you know, I keep getting all these pitches all the time. I've learned a lot and it's a never ending learning process, but I've built up my knowledge base, so to speak. So today what I'm going to talk to you about is basically things that you shouldn't do in front when you meet an investor for the first time or you're in an investor meeting things that you shouldn't do to begin with basically right these are very basic things and i'm quite sure all of us know all of this but i'm still going to put it all across once again there are three basic points and i'm going to run through all of them one by one the investor understands you are here to raise money but your first question should never be about money. Never, the first thing should never start off is, I'm looking to raise so much. You should always begin your conversation with the investor by talking about the problem and the team. You know, what problem are you solving? What's your team all about? What is it that you're doing differently from the others? That's where it should begin. The conversation can later steer towards money if the investor is further showing interest and asks you the question. But, you know, your first question straight out when you say, you know, it's like when somebody goes for a job thing to an HR manager and says, my salary is so and so, I expect this much. That's a big no-no basically. So never start your conversation by talking about money. The second important thing that I want to bring across is transparency. It is extremely important that when you're talking to an investor to be transparent, clean, clear about everything. If you're talking to other investors and you feel your conversation is going in the correct direction with this particular investor, be honest, be transparent. Make sure you express everything clearly. Don't hold back. In today's age and world, we are hearing all these stories here and there. It is always good and important to be clear, honest and transparent. These are very basic things again, I mentioned that before, but these are very, very important. Especially think of your, you know, partnership with the investor as a marriage, you know, as you're getting into a, you know, wedlock with them. So this is for the long run. Now, if you're going to begin your partnership with a lie, it's going to end up in a lie. And there is no going around that. So always be clear, transparent and honest. Lastly, and most importantly, you know, when you're talking to an investor, you know, you reach out, you're explaining your idea and the investor kind of comes back with, let's say, negative feedback or, you know, points out some holes in your idea. Don't get defensive. You are here for a meeting. Take everything in a positive approach. The minute you start getting defensive and you start defending your idea, it's going to lead to an argument, which is going to end up in bad taste. Thing is, you are there to meet the investor. You're asking him for money. You're asking them for their advice. You're asking them for their time. So then take their feedback also in a positive manner. Don't take it negatively that, when, you know, when somebody starts saying, oh, no, this might not work and this works and you start getting defensive and you start defending the whole thing over there. That never ends up positively. It is very, very important. Listen to what somebody else is saying to you. You are free to choose at the end of it, whether you want to accept the advice or reject the advice, but listen to it. Don't start criticizing or defending it right there and then. That is a big no, no base. So these are the three summarized points that I presented to all of you. I hope they're of some help and they help you actually close a deal with an investor. And uh, these are useful to you. This is Munish Johar signing off for Rolling Frames Entertainment. Thank you.